Hey guys, George at Soundtracks, and this week we're going to talk about how to select the best sound for your model. So let's get started. Now when it comes to selecting sounds for your locomotives from Soundtracks decoders, many times in the case of diesels you're going to look at the prime mover and match the prime mover, find it on the decoder, and get the appropriate decoder. Now when it comes to steam, all of the steam sounds are listed on the same decoder, so you get all the choices in one. So with all those choices, how do I know which one is correct? Now we get a lot of questions asking, how do I pick the best sound for my steam locomotive? Well, first off, one of the bigger things that you're going to want to look at is starting with the chuff. Now on the chuff sound, there's actually 10 different chuffs that you can choose from. There are three light, three medium, and three heavy steams, as well as a geared or a logging sound. Now with these different chuffs, there are a few things to keep in mind. When you're looking at your locomotive, some of the things you're going to want to look at is the driver diameter, you're also going to look at the cylinder diameter. Those smaller cylinders are usually going to have a little bit of a lighter chuff or not as quite as boomy or bassy as some of the bigger ones. So when you look at these cylinders, you're going to see that all three of these are different sizes. So when I would be looking at these locomotives, I would start with this one and say this is probably one of the light chuffs. And so I've got three to choose from and I'd listen to them and kind of decide which one I want to go with. The next one is probably this 10 wheeler here. We're probably looking at a medium chuff or something along those lines um, because it is a, a little bit bigger cylinder diameter than what's on this little 440, but it's not quite as big as what's on this mountain over here. Now, when we go to the mountain, we have a much bigger cylinder diameter, and so we're probably going to pick one of the heavy. Now again, we can go through and select and listen to each of the different chuffs and pick which one we like the best for that particular model. Now when you're selecting your chuff, remember all of our Tsunami 2 decoders have a 7 band equalizer just like you have on your home stereo system. So if you like the light chuff but you want to add a little bit more bass to it, you can take the equalizer and boost that bass up a little bit and cut the treble. So that way you have even a different chuff than even the ones that we pre-described for you. Now next up, one of the more iconic things is the whistle. And this is where we have to do a little bit of research as well as a little bit of modeler's license. And what I mean by that is we look at the model and on this little 440 you can see that this is probably a single chime whistle that's mounted on here. Now when we look at this one, you can see this is a multiple chime on here as well as there's a multiple chime on the mountain. So what we can do is we can kind of go into our archives, either through the historical societies or other research documents and try to find out what type of whistles they used. Now in the case of steam locomotives, a lot of the whistles were not standardized as diesel locomotives are today. and so. A lot of times when a particular class of locomotives was delivered, it came with a particular whistle that was in that Baldwin plant or that Alco plant at the time. This can be anything from Powell or Nathan's or Crosby's or any of those type of whistles. So do a little bit of fun research and try to see what, you, what was used. Now worst case, remember, these are your models. And here's where I'm going with this. In the days of steam, because the whistles weren't standardized as diesels are today, they're also easily removed. And so there were a lot of times where engineers had their own whistles. So when they were assigned to a train, before they departed the yard, they would climb up and take the whistle off and apply their whistle to that locomotive. That way, town folk knew old Bob was running the train because they could hear his whistle from a distance. It also gave them a little bit more fun because they were able to use their own whistle. So don't get too fixated on which whistle goes with which locomotive. The other thing I'll point out is on our whistles, there are 90 different whistles pre-programmed into the Tsunami 2, and they are simply selectable by a CV. Now many of these are going to be named by the generic name. They're not necessarily named off of a particular railroad or a particular class of locomotive. For example, I do know we have a couple that are listed as Santa Fe whistles. There's also one of the more iconic whistles that we hear even in recordings today, 
that's actually listed as a Nathan five chime whistle. So again, be sure to listen to the different whistles and pick the one that you like or the one that more closely matches your model. And last up, we'll start off with the bell. And when we look at the bell, we want to look at the different types of bells that are on the locomotive. So on this particular 440, we actually have a hand rung bell. And so you can go through with a light brass hand rung ring rate and you can pick that and you'll hear that bell swing and you'll hear that clapper coming back and hitting that bell as it hits the back swing. Now on this one here, this locomotive could have been an air rung bell, it also could have been a hand rung bell, so you can kind of decide for yourself. If you choose for a hand rung bell, you could actually run a cable back to the cab so the engineer can pull the bell cord and ring the bell. Locomotives like this, which are going to be much bigger, tend to have an air rung bell. So you're going to choose a bell with one of the higher ring rates so that that way you get that air clapper running against that bell. Now these are just some of the choices that you have in your Tsunami 2 and how to make them so that that way you can get the best sound out of your locomotives. Now for more detailed information, please visit our website at Soundtracks.com. Please check out the STEAM User's Guide as well as the STEAM 2 Sound Selection Reference so you can see all the different choices that you have to match your decoder to the model you've installed it in.